Well, in this video, I'll be showing you how to create your own custom application launchers for Unity in your Ubuntu desktop. So to do that, we're going to use a program called Create Launcher. And it is in, if you open up the Ubuntu Software Center and go to the For Purchase section, now it's not a pay for application, but it just happens to come under that category. So if we type in Create, uh, create Launcher, and you'll find it there. You get more information, and you can install it from here. But to install applications from the pay for section, you can need an Ubuntu One account. All you need to get your own Ubuntu One account is just an email account. It's quite quick and easy to do. Right, so I'm going to open that up. Now, anyone who's used GNOME Desktop before will notice it's probably a similar thing to a la carte. Now you could go and install a la carte into Ubuntu, but uh, it tends to break things when you install the whole GNOME desktop in there, so we'll avoid that. Right, so, into the launcher name. I'm going to go for a game I downloaded yesterday, but I had to install it manually. So that was called Nikki and the Robots. So, choose a picture. Now, when I installed this game, I do believe it came with some icons in the folder. So let's go to that user. I put it in user local games Nikki. It's in data. I think it was PNG. Ah, yes, here we go. Icons. Choose startup type. And you've got a choice here from application, running terminal, open a folder, or web application. Now this one is a, I think it's running terminal because it's a script I'm using. Which is lens category type, it's a game. And choose location for it. So that was in, it's a file system. Let's go back to it, user, local, games, Nikki. And that's it right there, Nikki.sh. So that is an executable file what you could call an executable file, don't know if that's the right term or not. Anyway, enter tags for quick access on Dash. I'm just going to go for one, Nikki. I could have also put in game, platform game, anything, but it's just what you're going to type in to make the application appear in your search results. I've got an optional section here, so you can save it as a user launcher, you can save it as a system launcher. Now system one you're going to need admin rights for when you run this application, but that would be useful if you're trying to create a launcher for if you've got multiple logins on the system. So you'd only need to create one launcher rather than have to log on to everyone's desktop and create the same launcher. And we've also got this part here, application starter. So if you'd like to add it to your Nautilus, you could do, you open with, start it with wine or using the NVIDIA Optimus. Oh yes, Bumblebee uh, for NVIDIA laptop graphics cards. Anyway, nothing of theirs applicable for this launcher, so just go for that, create launcher. Now, the downside with this application is it doesn't edit any of the files once you've created them. If you want to edit them, you can go here, right-click, properties, make a few changes there, or you could just delete it and start over. So let's see if it works. Nikki and the robots. That's the one I created. Oops, move that out of the way. And there you are, it's opened absolutely fine. Unfortunately that game won't work in Linux, which is a bit annoying because I've been watching that in development for some time. Now it comes to completion, it doesn't work in Ubuntu. Damn! Anyway, so that's it, that is Create Launcher. It has some other uses there, so I created one for connecting my PS3 controller, so I don't have to put in my admin password each time. The other one I've created there is a Gmail email checker, so it just opens up a Firefox tab. So there's some useful things you can do with it, so thanks for watching, see you later.